Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Free. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think about the commentary. Okay, so today I'm here to talk to you about power. I was intending to do this video last week, but I got busy. You guys, power has come back and just given me my whole entire life. All right, so first of all, first of all, can we just talk about the fact that Angela actually died? I did not see that coming last season. I did not think she was going to die. I just thought they were going to have her, you know, live. <laughs> you know, I thought they were going to have her survive that shooting. I can't believe she died. She died, and that was just crazy, but it got even crazier with the whole thing with um, Ghost Son, uh, Tariq, and how he is still like has this thing, this connection um, with, oh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank now with 50 Cent's character. Um, I'll think of his name in a minute, but let me just keep it going. <laughs> um, but yeah, so how he still had a connection with him and how he wanted to you know, he had his ashes and he threw his ashes away. That was just so weird that he's still so, uh, Kanan, that's his name, how he's so uh, still connected to uh, Kenan or Kenan or Kanan, Kenan, uh, which is 50 Cent's character in Power and he got killed off. But anyway, it's just weird how his son, his son is so connected to Kenan. And I feel that he kind of almost brainwashed this boy. And I think that's why he left. He didn't kill him because 50 Cent had the opportunity to kill um, Tariq. But he didn't kill him last season because I think he secretly knew that he had brainwashed him enough that he would turn on his own father. And that is exactly what Tariq is doing. Tariq is not here for his father. He has no loyalty to his father. He basically cannot stand his father. Goat. All right. So there's that whole thing. And then... There is the whole thing with Tommy who killed Ghost, the love of Ghost's life, Angela. And Ghost saw him, and it was this whole mystery of, okay, what's going to happen now? And Ghost actually, actually goes and sprays Tommy's um, Mustang and in an attempt to kill him. And thankfully, it was a decoy. The Serbians, they actually uh, let one of their people get in Tommy's car as a decoy because they had a feeling that Ghost was going to come after Tommy. So Ghost thought all this time that he had killed Tommy. He shut up the car. Ghost was telling like those close to him that he had killed you know, Tommy. He told um, the attorney everything. You know, He thought Tommy was dead. Well, come to find out, of course, Tommy wasn't dead, and that, it's just, it's just too much. Now you know, Tommy just watched Ghost shoot up the car that he was supposed to be in, so of course, Tommy's going to come for Ghost, come for Ghost. And it's just this whole thing of, oh my God, what's, what's going to happen? And then, also in the back of your mind, you're thinking, his son, Tariq, also can't stand him, so it's almost like, you're thinking, is Tariq going to be a part of taking down Ghost 2? It, it seems like Tariq, I can envision Tariq having something to do with uh, the demise of Ghost. Because he's grown up to be this really, really hardcore kid. And basically, he's his father. He's a junior, you know? So he's just like his father. And he's very heartless when it comes to his father. I think after his sister died, that was it. The switch clicked on and he just lost all emotions and now he's just this hardcore guy. Also, there's just so many like moving parts um, to this story uh, with uh, the wife of Ghost. Uh, it's just, oh my gosh, she's getting sick of him. She's tired of, uh, she just... You know, you can tell, like, she's just done with Ghost, period. She's just really, really done with Ghost. She wants him to be out of her life, but she first wants to know if he killed that Terry Silvers guy. And before she really is rid of him, but she wants to know 
what happened to Terry. And she's also being questioned about Terry Silver because he, you know, let's face it, he's missing. And we all know that last season, Ghost killed Terry. So there's all that lurking. Then uh, there's a the whole thing with Lala, who plays Keisha. She is so madly in love with Tommy. She actually gets rid of the murder weapon in which Tommy used to kill Angela. She got rid of it for Tommy. And she's just so in love with Tommy. And it's obvious that Tommy is definitely just using her. I mean, he may care about her as a person, but Tommy definitely doesn't love her anywhere near the way she loves him. She's just basically someone that's helping Tommy get through his issues um, of losing his father, um, of losing uh, his the girl that he was so loved and, and loved with. I can't remember the redhead. I can't remember her name right now. But yeah, so basically Tommy has all this stuff going on in his head too. And so he, do, he does need a little support system. So Lala is there for that. But overall, guys, I just want to say power. It came back with a bang. It's so good this season. Um, check it out if you haven't already. There is, um, that that was part one. Uh, there is a part two or episode two that I also watched. Episode two just kind of like go ahead, goes ahead and answers a lot of the questions that you had in episode one. Uh, you do see ghosts telling his wife that, yes, um, he did kill Terry Silverman. I think it's Silverman is his name. Silvers or something like that. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at names. But he killed her lover. And she was, just, it's like she knew he did it. But just hearing that he did it, she was just done. You know? And she asked him to uh, give her a divorce. And so they're going through their little thing with the divorce. And also in episode two, you see Ghost telling his son that he actually killed um, Tommy. That was really tough because his son was like, what? And then you also saw for sure that his, his son definitely had no loyalty to him because his son didn't even bother telling his father that Tommy was actually alive. So that shows you right there. The son has no loyalty at all to ghosts. So after that, um, everything plays out. Everyone is just, you know, doing the thing. I don't want to give away too much in case you guys haven't seen it, but basically the story keeps unfolding. You keep seeing like all the characters just getting in more and more hot water. Tasha, which is ghost wife is approached by, um, Angela's sister because there's a phone. She finds a phone. And the phone was communicating with someone. So um, her sister actually texts the number and says, let's meet. Thinking it's Ghost, but it's actually Tasha. Because Tasha was working with Angela before Angela died. They all were working with Angela. And so Tasha had to reveal that to Angela's sister. Like, uh, your sister wasn't as innocent as you think. She was working with all of us to keep us all out of jail. So it was like, that was an eye-opening moment for the sister. The sister ended up getting rid of the evidence, the phone, and which would have tied them all to Angela, but it also would have incriminated Angela and left a bad name for her. And she didn't want to ruin her sister, sister's legacy, so she got rid of the phone, which was the last bit of evidence that Angela was working with the St. Patrick's, Ghost and Tasha. And she also helped to keep Tariq out of trouble as well. So it, it was just a lot. It was just a lot, 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 lot on that episode. But the kicker to that episode was when Tommy, Tommy walked into Angela's funeral and Ghost looked like he had saw a ghost because Ghost was under the impression that Tommy was dead. He had been telling people that he killed Tommy. And come to find out, Tommy was alive and well. And he just looked at Ghost and Ghost looked at him. And it's kind of heartbreaking because, you know, that Tommy and Ghost can never, ever be the same anymore. And that is so sad because their dynamic is what kind of made the show, like, really cool, like, how they kind of work together and everything. And I know that this is supposed to be the last um, season, but I did hear that 50 Cent was saying, no, it's not the last season. So I'm not sure. 
they may do a spinoff or something. I don't know. But it only makes sense that they do this with him and Tommy like this if it is the last season. Because, wow, them two going at each other can only end in death. They can't really play that out very long because we all know that they both don't have a problem with killing each other. So how long would it last with those two being enemies? Not long at all. So you would think that everything is coming to an end. It, it, it just makes sense. But I don't know. I love the show. I would love to see it go on a few more seasons. If it could, I don't know. But yeah, this season has started off with a bang. Anyway, to make a long story short, guys, if you have not watched it, I don't know what you're doing. Check out Power. It's just so interesting this season. And it's just been having me at the edge of my seat. And I am so excited for the next episode. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Labor Day weekend. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up button. And comment below if you watch Power. Let me know what you think about this season. Peace.